Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12 of the Derby Crowd Live, and to start off this episode, we are in the 1st of January, we're in the January transfer window, and it's time to make some big changes to the team, of course, we've got a number of fixtures coming up in this uh, episode, probably only do maybe two or three though, but uh, nevertheless, we'll still be doing a lot of transfers, obviously the last episode was almost 30 minutes long, so plenty of uh, games, but not, not the best in terms of performances, uh, in terms of results, we really didn't well, we haven't won in four games now, so we do kind of need to uh, get back to winning ways against Middlesbrough and a uh, great way to start off the episode. Looking at our transfer hub then, I think straight away I would kind of like to get Hudson a door. He's, he's going to be obviously the cheapest possible. It may take up quite a bit of our money, so maybe going for a loan and then looking to buy him next season, that might be the better option. Same with Ethan Ampadu. If, if we are going to be playing our new formation, we may need another centre-back. Also got the strikers, of course, down the bottom. We'll just sort it by position, make it easier for us. Um, yeah, we've added a couple. So we looked at Glenn Murray. Unfortunately, we're not going to get him in this window because um, his contract's running at the end of the season, so we can't get him now. Um, but we've got a couple of Liverpool youngsters here, Brewster and Solanke. Now, Solanke's obviously a little bit bigger. He's a bit more um, physical, and Brewster's just rapid. He's, he's got that pace and uh, can be a bit of an impact. Both of them very good players and not most unrealistic thing especially with us having um, Harry Wilson and these two not really playing at Liverpool at the minute it, it could be a possibility in real life we've also got Guy, uh, Guy Rano Kirk here from the uh, Everdizzy very good player very good pace very good strength and I think he's like six foot as well maybe five foot nine so not the tallest but obviously with those physical stats it kind of makes up for it. So I think for the time being, we will leave it. We'll see how this new formation is. We'll see what we kind of need. And we've we've got plenty of time in this January window. So let's let's scroll into the uh, first game against Middlesbrough. Going to be a tough one to kick off the episode. Um, they're not doing too well, to be fair. They are down in 16th. I, I don't know what's happened to the arms there. I, I don't know if that's my Elgato or the arms have literally just turned into the matrix that's that's a little bit weird i've never seen that before so here's the new formation if you didn't see it in the last episode the only issue with this formation is it kind of makes it like a couple of midfielders quite redundant since we only have two now and uh, we push one into the back one thing i might be tempted to do though i don't know if he's tall yeah he's six foot tall we could always play evans at center back that's that's one option we could always look at um but for the time being i think we'll go with this lineup george thorn is suspended unfortunately um, but it gives a chance for Jeff Hendrick to get his debut, so blessing in disguise, I guess. Bit of a foggy day then at Pride Park. I've realised that Martin's number is actually incorrect. He's meant to have 19, um, but he's got 16. But nevertheless, looking at the Middlesbrough team, Randolph in goal, Spence, Iola, Flint and Friend in the defence, Besic, uh, Ledbetter and McNair. Very defensive, like you got three defensive midfielders there and uh, both fullbacks aren't exactly the most attacking. But then you've got Britta Sombolonga up top with Downing and... Uh, Pediago on the right hand side it's a very good team and I think we drew last time against Middlesbrough I could be wrong but uh, yeah they didn't actually have Darren Randolph and Asamba Longa in the last game so it's actually a better Middlesbrough team so going to be interesting to see how we test out this new formation it did kind of work in the second half against Norwich um, but it didn't exactly get us the result we wanted so we'll see Martin with the ball on the edge here with the finesse shot saved by Randolph We'll probably get this corner in before the end of the half. It's been a very good first half, but not quite found the back of the net yet. Half time then against Middlesbrough. A very positive first half, I must say. Um, if I'll show you the match facts quickly. As you can see, we've, we've created so much. and Not clear-cut chances, but we've we've had a very good few number. And uh, the keepers have to make a couple of decent saves. Ball goes in with the volley, and it's in the back of the net. That's literally their first chance of the game. Out of nothing, just a... a Great cross from Downing, to be fair, into the penalty spot, and then the first time uh, volley. Kind of expected Wisdom to block it, to be frankly honest, but it is 1-0 to Middlesbrough, especially, uh, definitely against the run of play, um, but that's that's football at times. Can we get straight back into it? It's a good through ball here for Lawrence with the shot, and it is in the back of the net. We kind of kick off Glitchton there, but you got to do it if if that gets you the goal. That That's what you got to do. It's EA's game, and uh, yeah, as you can see, we just passed it. Passed it around nicely, to be fair. Maybe they just weren't aware of uh, how well we're doing that. And Lawrence with a very nice finish. Chance here for Lawrence. Can he get the opportunity to open up? Yes, he can with the shot and with the goal. Tom Lawrence, two goals for him today. And that is 2-1 on the score sheet. Very nice goal indeed. And we needed that because we need to win a game. We haven't won in four. And uh, it's the first of the first of the month. It's, it's nice to kick it off with a nice win. Bryson with the ball through into the massive space. And Lawrence with the right foot finish. 
a good delivery into the back post and it is in the back of the net. Just unpause the game. And it just, I don't know what it does, it just makes your team not quite go up to scratch. And down in there with the uh, goal, it was really unfortunate. Like I, I, I just had to pause it for a sec and... Um, yeah, and that's probably led to the goal. It just it just stops your defenders for a quick second. I literally paused it there, made the, the space for him, and of course, nobody's there at the back post, and it's a free goal for Downing. Hendrick nicks it off him, through for Martin. Can he win it in the last minute of the game? Oh, he's dragged it. He's dragged it wide. He is a little bit rusty, but I must say, that was a very, very good performance compared to the Norwich game where we lost 3-1. The only thing that's a little bit annoying is... How good their keeper was for starters. It's very good saves in the first half. Um, but as you can see, they, they had three shots on target and scored two goals. Maybe I shouldn't have subbed off Bryce and he was doing quite well in the midfield. But uh, in terms of legs, like the fullback positions, I don't know if I can show you Malone's stamina now. He's not going to be able to play the next game, so we, we will need to rotate those. Transfer here from Cologne for Richard Keogh. I think we will be rejecting that since... Well, I just don't see a point of selling Keogh, especially when we need uh, three centre-backs now in the new formation. We may, we may need to bring someone in, to be honest, either at right-back or uh, centre-back, whether I want to put Tomori as a centre-back or a right-back, really. Um, obviously, we've got Wisdom playing centre-back, who's another right-back, but in terms of what we have, that's probably my first team um, overall. I think maybe change Wilson out for um, somebody else. Somebody that was suggested by you guys was uh, Robert Gummy. Don't know who he is, literally never seen him before, but he's at Barcelona, so clearly he's quite decent. Um, five foot ten is not bad. I'll get the scout report back. He has got a release clause of five million though, so maybe um, alone that might be the option for this season. But maybe next year we can get him on a permanent. We'll have to wait and see. But we are going to go into the uh, round of three in the first FA Cup game for us against Cambridge United, a pretty decent opponent. Obviously, it will give us an opportunity to play a bit of a rotation side. One thing I do want to check is if our loans have actually uh, come back from uh, their short-term loans because we kind of need Max Low right now. So yeah, they've not come back yet and I'm not 100% sure why. It's, it's only a short-term loan. If I try and recall them, it's reasonably cheap if it's for Max Low. Um, it's going to cost me 48 grand, which I, I kind of shouldn't have to pay, but I do kind of need him now that I've uh, gone for that. We could always play Callum McDonald in this game. I don't know if he's got any decent stats. 70 acceleration is not bad. 33 strength isn't the best, but do you know what? I'll, I'll just play this McDonald for the next game and then we'll uh, recall the loans if they don't come back anytime soon. It's just that we kind of need those players, um, and that's how I've planned it out. Still still got the weird arms. Not 100% sure why this is a thing on the game, but nevertheless, into the game against Cambridge. We're going to go for Waghorn up top, just see how he does in this formation. Also going to bring in Evans for Hendrick. Here we are then, the first actual licensed game mode. Um, well, not game mode, but tournament we're playing in this career mode. It's, it's nice to see some decent graphics other than the basic ones that EA give you. They're really nice, really crisp, and obviously the Premier League ones are very nice indeed as well. So, here's our team on the left here. Put Evans into the defence. I thought, why not? Just give it a crack. Uh, McDonald at that left-back position as well, 55 rated. Not exactly the best, but should be good enough against Cambridge. And uh, Waghorn, Bennett and Joseph soon up top. So, pretty decent lineup. We We should be winning this game. 4-4-2 for them. Uh, David Ford in goal, and I think that is about it. Deegan, quite decent in the midfield. I don't really know. Cambridge United to be frankly honest they're obviously down in League 2 and uh, don't really cover it too much now they've got a chance the shot's up oh. it's in it's a great start for them a bit awkward a didn't ex goal. exactly expect that to go in literally just oh, that's that's a little bit difficulty for you I, I don't know if it's my goalkeeper as well because I've only got like a 72 rate of keeper these kind of shots may be saved but it was a very good finish into pretty much the top right hand corner literally out of nothing and Cambridge United are in the lead Chance here for McDonald out wide. Can he get a decent delivery into the box? It's gone a very good air into the back post. And Joseph soon, the Dutchman, with the goal to reply and get us back on level terms. Really nice cross, actually, from a 55 rate of play. It was in a beautiful position and um, made it very easy for us to get back into this game. Corner then, just before the end of the added half. Keo with the overhead kick and Keo with the goal. An absolute corker to make it 2 1 just before. Not 100% sure if you could actually do that celebration in real life, but don't know if you could even do this, to be honest. Let's just watch it again. It is kind of an OP thing, again, like finesse shots. You just put it into that near post and give an over a kick a go, and it does um, fly lovely into the back of the net, I must say. There's normally a guy at the back post, um, but not this time. 
Last attack here for Cambridge. If they are going to get back into it, they have to score now. Carson saves it. Keogh's not dealing with it, and it's gone across the face of goal. And we are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Good to get the first win, obviously, in the round of three. They were quite decent, Cambridge. A lot better than I thought. Um, but in terms of going forwards, like we, we were the much better team. As you can see, 10 shots on target, and uh, only the six for them. There we go. We got uh, Luke Thomas, Callum Guy, and uh, Jonathan Mitchell, and Max uh, Lowe all coming into the team. There is a contract here for uh, Keller Roos. I'm not too bothered since we've got uh, Jonathan Mitchell back now. It's, it's good to see these players back into the uh, squad. It just makes the team look a little bit bigger in terms of numbers, if I just quickly show you. We kind of need them as well. We, we need these extra players, Max Lowe especially, at that left-back position. Although, he was very good in that last game, uh, Thomas, uh, McDonald, sorry. Very good delivery, and that's, that's what got us the first goal in the game to get us back into it. Now, I'm interested to see how Luke Thomas grows. Obviously, he's got pretty decent stats. Um, for a 63 rated player and uh, definitely the chance to train him up. Callum Guy technically um, should have been made permanent at Blackpool but we'll keep him for the time being. He's, he's only he's only young at 22 so still a chance to grow. I'm going to put Luke Thomas straight into training because if I don't do it now then he's just not going to be involved in this uh, series. Did get an F in his first uh, training session. We've also got Gasparoni there on the far right. Hopefully he can get us the growth to uh, be able to hit the objective for the season. So we have actually gone up in the manager objectives. That's probably because we went through to the next round of the FA Cup. I'm not 100% sure when the round of 32 is. But uh, yeah, we're doing well in pretty much all fronts. Other than uh, the short term, sign three players and grow them up uh, by 10 ratings. It's kind of difficult because I don't want to just shove all them in. Because I kind of want to get my first team uh, upgraded in stats. But nevertheless, let's have a look if we've got the next round of the FA Cup. It is going to be not yet, so we're going to have to wait and see. So yeah, we just got the match rescheduled there. We've also got a couple of other messages. We've actually got quite a few, so it'll be interesting to see what we've got here. Max Lowe with a uh, offer here for a one-year deal. We're going to reject that straight away just because we need him as a left-back now. We've got rid of Olsen. Would have been quite good in this formation, to be fair, Marcus Olsen. Um, scout report here for uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Don't think we need him right now since we've got quite a few central midfielders already. Very good indeed, of course. 78 rated, good at the World Cup uh, with England. Going to wait to see what Brewster and Solanke. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you'd prefer me to sign. Both of them with a good chance of joining Derby. I'm not, I must say they're not exactly the most unrealistic, um, but quite different. Like Brewster's a bit more of an impact sub, a bit like Darren Bent. We'll just come on in the last 10 minutes and get us a goal if that. Uh, but Solanke is a bit more of a first team player, so let me know what I should go for. Semi-final then to kick off the next episode against Sunderland. Let's just have a quick look and see if that draw has been made for the next round of the FA Cup. I, I don't quite know what's happened there. <laughs> Wednesday and a Friday game. It's going to be fun, isn't it? Uh, hopefully that gets rescheduled down the line, but you never know with this. It's, it's very broken indeed. Um, but it looks like... The FA Cup game has not been drawn yet, which is a bit of a shame because I would have liked to see who we got. Um, but we'll have to wait and see in the next episode. We've got plenty of money, so we can definitely sign someone on a permanent and maybe a couple of loans if you just uh, swing over the budget quick. 50 grand and 6.2 million. That's that's more than enough to make a couple of very good signings. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like rating if you did enjoy and see you soon. Bye.